If you're interested, we encourage you to experiment, but ballistic ping pong balls are hazardous and potentially lethal. If you think your clothes are enough to protect you, here's what a ping pong ball did to a leather glove. Hey, this is the third in our ping pong launching video series. This one, the first one, we had just a vacuum in with the launch tube here and atmospheric pressure to push the ball out. In the second one, we showed having our pressure chamber here pressurized with air, and that helped along with the vacuum to launch the ping pong ball. And this one is set up just like the air pressure one. The difference is we're going to use helium instead of air and see what difference that makes to the speed of the ping pong ball. So, as before with the pressure chamber, that's a key safety thing because pressurized gases can be very dangerous, maybe even more so than the ping pong ball. This is Schedule 80 CPVC, so the high temperature PVC. Been wrapped with half inch nylon rope, which you can't see because we've now covered it with space blanket since it's not summer anymore and things perform better when we keep it warm. So we warmed this up and then covered it up so that the helium will be warmer. So at the end of this pressure chamber, there's a membrane. This membrane has a wire taped to it and will trigger to release the pressure by melting, putting electricity through that wire to melt that membrane. It's followed by another vacuum membrane to hold the vacuum this in. The ping pong ball is sitting right there and then the launch tube, which has been evacuated. At the end of the launch tube, as with both others, we have the vacuum reservoir. This reservoir provides a spot for the air, which leaks by the ball, to accumulate so it doesn't cause back pressure and slow the ball down. When the ball breaks through the membrane at this end, it passes through two light beams that are 100 millimeters apart, We'll use that to measure how fast the ball travels. And then this time we have nominal half inch, it's about 12 millimeter thick plywood. So we'll see how that plywood fares against the ping pong ball. So now that we've had it evacuated reasonably well, we're going to go back and start adding air pressure. And I'm going to put on my ear muffs because I don't like loud bangs. And this time we're pressuring it pressurizing it with helium. And once it reaches somewhere around 90 PSI, I'll push the button to melt the membrane. Oh, wait. Okay, get the helium tank turned on. Okay, here we go. 40 PSI, we're up to 60, to 80. Whoops, and it launched itself. <laughs> membrane ruptured just before I pushed the button. So that was about 80 PSI of helium. We'll come down to the end of the tube and see what we did. So here's the half inch plywood, the entry hole and the exit hole. So this can be dangerous. Be really careful if you do that. And then we'll come down and look at the oscilloscope. And these two pulses on the oscilloscope are the shadows that the ping pong ball made as it went through the two light beams. And we'll look at the two times 128.86 microseconds and 129.6. So that's about 129.3 on average. Yeah. So we'll do 100 millimeters divided by 129.3 microseconds. Two nine three and seven hundred and seventy three meters per second. So that's a new record for the world's fastest ping pong ball, seven hundred and seventy three meters per second.